please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. And keep the aisles clear of all carry-on items. A press check is kind of a, a lost art. You know, it's uh, one of those high craft things that don't happen so much because of budgets, I suppose. Yeah, we'll be checking out here shortly for a quick 25-minute uh, flight to take off the touchdown. We really pay a lot of attention to every detail up to this point, preceding press. Uh, we've gone through the, you know, the ca calibrated workflow on the image processing. Well, today is the start of another day uh, in our odyssey to print the summer issue of Alert Diver. I come into Milwaukee four times a year, fly into Milwaukee, and then I drive to Sussex, Wisconsin, where uh, we printed a quad graphics plant. It's a, it's a beautiful huge plant actually 1.7 million square feet you know we're one of the one of the few magazines that that actually come to press and oversee every little every page so every page that that a member receives in a bound alert diver has been checked multiple times and it's it's really emblematic i think of of what dan does for a living it's a very high quality organization you you see it at, at every level of corporate communications uh, marketing and certainly the products that they they sell the medical team um, the insurance everything is meant to be at the highest possible quality and alert diver has to has to rise to that sa same standard you've seen a lot of what happens before we get to the the press I mean it's the photographers with their underwater images it's the writers writing compelling articles it's the the staff doing all the layout, the design, the pre-press, the post-check for uh, copy editing and you know all the things that go into the magazine and it all leads to this day. Because it's such a large circulated, actually the largest circulated dive magazine in the world, because of that we, we have to go on a web press. Hi, we're here on the floor of Quad Graphics getting ready to review the cover. The cover is the first form we're going to look at tonight and it's all about ink on paper obviously up to this point everything has been digital we're looking at things on the computer where we have the Epson prints but this is where it all comes down to reality ink on paper come on let's go see it magenta yellow cyan inks we have two different papers we use sterling for the cover stock and we have a beautiful finesse paper that we bring over from Europe for our interior pages. I use that paper because it's a bright white sheet and it makes the underwater photographs really pop. We're on a web press and the reason being it has to run very quickly. We, we print 150,000 copies tonight. It's gonna to be 112 pages plus four covers. So that's a lot of paper, a lot of ink and we're gonna power through for the next 24 hours. This is the start of it all. So. Uh, here we've got our sterling gloss. That's our cover. It gets loaded on this big web press. And this is where it starts. It'll run through kind of like this Rube Goldberg machine with, with plates and paper and ink all running together. Here you can see where the inks are beginning to get applied. We have these blankets. This is primarily the magenta. We're gonna go through here, see we have different colors being applied, all different plates. So when it goes through, it's our job to get the approvals done very quickly. Nobody wants to waste paper, and so they're gonna get me fairly close, and then we're gonna go to a calibrated station, and we're gonna look at the color, the registration, even the color as it changes over the course of a page. There are little tweaks we can do. For example, if one color is not right on the far right, we can change that. Come on, I'll show you. All right, so once it runs through, they pull samples for us, and we go through several samples before we get the one that we want. For example, here, on this earlier version, this part is pretty good, but on the rear cover, we have a little bit of red banding here. So we had to fix that. But then when you look at this with the loop, we saw that we were a little bit off in registration and we had a tiny little pinstripe here that was misregistered as well. 
but there's no hickeys, no imperfections, very, very close. So, when we finally get to it, on the one that I'm ready to sign off on, we've got this fixed, so we have good uniform ink coverage. Our registration is precise. So I've got front cover, rear cover, inside front cover, inside rear cover. That's all we're gonna do on this press. And when they're perfect, I've signed off. We're good to go. It's a wrap. We're gonna move on to another press. We're comfortable what we have to match. But still there's a lot of variability when we go on press. There are things that are really important in terms of color, registration. We're gonna work very hard together, myself and the press man, to get to okay. That's, that's our objective. We want to get to, okay, I want to be able to sign off on a form and they're going to finish printing it. I didn't think that looked so bad. No, let's take some weight out on this side though. A little lighter. Okay. It's kind of a, a dance we have. For example, it's me trying to achieve the highest quality on the printed page and it's them trying to say, well, these are the pages that we're willing to save and uh, and these are the pages that are going to get bound into the book and mailed to our members. Sold. Sold. Okay, we're making progress. We've got the cover. We've got a couple interior forms that are approved. They're good to go. We've got several more to go, so I'm in it for 18 hours now. Probably got another six or eight hours left, but it's looking good. That's why we're here. Next time you see this alert driver, it'll be at home in your mailbox. Hope you enjoy it.